Hello, everyone. Welcome to Agile World Wellness. And again, we're talking about psychological safety. And today we will be talking about very obvious and quite boring stuff uh, about your body, about your physiology and neurophysiology as well. So sometimes people say that they are burning out, they have a very high level of stress, they having anxiety, and something is, is going wrong with their life. And then when you try to ask about the basics, they try to neglect it and then jump to solutions, jump to creative things, you know, making things very, very complicated, whereas everything is very simple. If you are a team player and you want to contribute to psychological safety, first things first. You need to really take care not only about your mental health, but your physical health. So if you're not sleeping enough, if you come and work in a meeting, uh, having just four hours of sleep, if your sleeping routine is very chaotic, you may get enough, enough of sleep and then you may not get, or, you know, mm, you really don't think that sleeping is so important, it's a boring topic, then, you know, that wouldn't work in a very long perspective because in order to work efficiently and socialize in an efficient way, we need to get sufficient amount of sleep. And this is seven, eight hours recommended. And um, I am part of a fantastic uh, pain laboratory in the University of Balearic in my free time. And we have a lab which is called the Laboratory of Sleep. And indeed, communicating with the guys and, you know, reading some of research they're doing in this field, I can say that sleeping is so um, under... Uh, valued and underestimated. This is, you know, sometimes 99% of the solution. You want to have a great presentation and write a great strategy, just get an out of sleep. So your brain is ready. So what actually happens when we uh, sleep? There is a detox uh, process in our brain. And, um, you know, brain is water, brain is chemistry, chem uh, chemistry and electricity. And because of a very hard working day, a lot of chemical processes happen and during the night that's the only opportunity for the brain to get um, rid of all the toxins all the chemical things which uh, are, are not uh, needed for the brain so it's kind of a rubbish in your brain which is there and the more intense in your life uh, learning thinking analyzing socializing the more you know rubbish you have and you need to get uh, rid of this waste. How to do it? You need to slip a sufficient amount of hours so you have the, uh, the good proportion of the different sleeping phases and the quality of the sleep needs to be good. How to increase uh, the quality of the sleep? First of all, we know melatonin and we, need, we know that melatonin plays a huge role, not only in sleeping, but then functioning, thinking, being creative, and you know, being great employees, supervisors, and people as such. So we need sufficient amounts of melatonin. And to do this, we need to sleep when it's very dark. So if there is a little light, uh, maybe on your mobile phone or some other gadgets, it really decreases the total darkness level. And it really uh, prevents your brain to produce sufficient quality amounts of melatonin. So, you know, enjoy the darkness, close your curtains, windows, all the computers, smartphones, just, you know, kick them out of your bedroom and uh, close the doors or anything else um, in order to, to make you sleep in a total darkness. By total, I mean that you cannot really see anything, even if you stay in the darkness for some time. If you can, you can get a sleeping mask made of silk, for example. So it's all super delicate with your skin. There are many solutions out there in the market. You need to get used to some of them because some of them don't feel really comfy or they, you know, you just lose them somewhere during the sleep so you need to find uh, something which fits you and just make an experiment sleep in the darkness for one week or two weeks and then just do a retrospection how do you feel what are what is your mood like what are your energy like is it easy to wake up what about the total pleasure you get by sleeping and most probably if you do it right and you enjoy the darkness then really you will have uh, very simple results, but very, very, very strong.
Also, when you sleep, you need to decrease the amount of noise and all the distractors. During the day, our brain is affected by a lot of noise. It's information noise. These are physical noises from people talking around, cars passing by, children getting very, very playful. <clears throat> our colleagues uh, also, you know, discussing something so our brain receives a lot a lot of noises so during the night you need to create the vacuum yeah you need to eliminate all the possible distractors so this is maybe bad news but if your partner is snoring and his sleep is very very anxious if you want to really have a quality sleep and you have the possibility to sleep separately at least for a sprint at least for your recovery period or use um, ear plugs you should do it because snoring or other noises of a person you're moving around waking up getting a drink it will decrease this is a boring stuff yes but the results can be really astonishing and surprising also if you're sleeping with animals it's a lot of oxytocin it's really anti-stress animals are really um you know really creating a psychological safety for us. At the same time, if uh, they are too active, they're hunting at night, jumping around, it may be a good idea also to just to try sleeping one week, you know, all alone. Maybe it won't work for you, yeah, but we only can do the test and learn uh, thing here and see what really works for us. But of course, I always need to say you need oxytocin. So hugging your doggy or kitty before going to bed is a great routine. And the, then also interacting with pets in the morning. For your brain, it's a good boost of oxytocin, which afterwards will help you to establish relationships, to be in a good mood and so on. What else I can tell about sleep? So enough hours, not noisy, uh, total darkness, and also uh, you need to make it very, um, you need to convert it into a routine. So the way you go to sleep, they write it everywhere. The process you are you know, transferring from working mode to a relaxed mode, it needs to be systematic. So you need to think of the rituals. You need to think of what are my 15 minutes or one hour uh, uh, as a preparation stage to sleep. You need to set up your brain and prepare it to fall asleep smoothly, quickly, you know, and then enjoy the rest of the sleep. So some people are reading, some people are meditating, doing the breathing techniques, some enjoy a nice walk or maybe uh, some uh, very slow yoga stretching, you know, a relaxing body. Some enjoys uh, peppermint tea. Some people uh, listen to relaxing music, use a pile of different uh, um, apps on phone with nice sounds of nature. So, but it needs to be also a system. Your brain needs to understand that, you know, when it's already nine o'clock, something special happens. And this special will lead to a nice um, sleep. You need to train your brain. You need to train your brain to predict already what is the next step. And the next time is uh, next uh, step is falling asleep. Uh, also, don't, you know, you know it, but it's like with water. We know that we need to have our two liters of water or so, but do we drink it? Do we have water, enough of water now in our workplace? I don't. Yeah, I just I just had, though, one glass, but we tend to being very busy and forgetting things we know. So we need to convert knowledge into doing, right? So also overeating before going to sleep definitely is a don't and I know it's very exciting and it's a great pleasure but you just can plan it at least I don't know a few hours before you fall asleep and then if you really want something you just uh, enjoy maybe a, a, a chamomile tea or something like that also you need to experiment with a physical exercise there are some people who cannot fall asleep after doing a cardio or a, a quite an active training in the evening uh, because they feel very over excited you know with the high blood pressure 
Uh, the heart beating faster and their body feels like you know running or fighting or doing the project so you can see you can check if it works or not for some people they sleep very good after exercising in the evening but if it's not your case you rather move your exercise to the morning or uh, somewhere during the the day a bit earlier they also always say about caffeine about um, coffee black tea matcha energy drinks uh, and they're not just saying it uh, for the sake of saying indeed uh, you can just do an experiment what happens if for two weeks you have your last coffee let's say three o'clock and then that's it some some juices maybe a non-black tea or anything because sometimes we are saying my sleep is not quality sleep, but we don't really analyze what we're doing in order for the sleep not to be very productive. And sometimes fixing small things will really work. So you can do a self-challenge. You can say that for the next two weeks, my focus is quality sleep. Um, to motivate yourself, uh, they recommend to, you know, pump yourself with a nice pajama, maybe a um, new beautiful bed lining or, you know, something which will uh, make uh, the process of going to bed even more enjoyable. And of course, uh, remember of fresh air, uh, remember to ventilate your room, remember to really um, have enough oxygen because when we're sleeping, we are not breathing as fast. So it can be that our oxygen level drops. And guys who have smart watches know that it may happen. So uh, fresh air can also very simple, uh, simply influence the quality of sleep. So, and if the person in your team becomes toxic, very nervous, and uh, not a very good communicator, Ask him, what about sleep? Did you guy have enough of sleep? Was it the quality sleep? Share all these life hacks. Because basically, I can say today that sleeping can save the world. And also in every situation where you don't have clarity or you feel bad, just sleep. You know how sportsmen do. They have 20 minutes sleep during the day. And I can tell you this is a real melatonin life hack, which I practice. Just try it in the middle of the day when you feel tired, exhausted, you're working in the mode of a superman. Just stop for at least three, 10 minutes. And instead of falling asleep, because it it you, it may be that you can fall asleep as fast and you don't have enough time, you know, at least enjoy the darkness. If you have a sleeping mask or you can just put your ha hand like this so you don't see anything, lie down, cover your eyes, breathe, you know, try to imagine something good, nature or anything else you enjoy. And then you cannot imagine after just a few minutes like that, I feel that I'm born again. You get, you know, the darkness and um, you get an imitation of sleep. And then afterwards, you can uh, again get your superpower and, and be productive and uh, and do things which actually uh, make psychological safety, not just an empty word, but a real environment we are working. So in any situation where you feel something is going wrong, just sleep. So start your sleep challenge and write in comments, how does it go? Bye-bye and most probably good night. Sleep well. <laughs>